Uh, I kind of gave it away with grabbing the wrong belt because of all the nervous clapping. But uh, <laughs> I, I, if he didn't have an idea this was going to happen, then, then he, he had to know because uh, when when Stephen made the decision to, to come train with us here at the Live and Academy, uh, he actually he was always meant to train with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, he got a little jaded from our old first instructor's attitude uh, when he first came to the gym, so it turned him away. So we found another gym. Uh, but man. He went so far competing and technically training in this gym, being, you know, when you're the, uh, and I can say this, I don't go that different. when you're the top guy at your gym, when you're the best competitor, especially with the biggest, strongest, best guy, okay, and, and you've reached that limit, okay, it's, uh, it's the decision you have to make to move on. And that's, I'm not trying to say I was the biggest, best, whatever, but I had to make a decision of my training to train with Sam, and I have to admit it was someone I always wanted to train with. Me. Okay, seeing the competitions just out there killing it, I said, "Man, I want him to come train with me." But I would never like try to like reel someone from another gym or anything. But I told him like, "Listen, if you want to come, like us, just get together and train. You know, I want to see you. I, I think I can help you in your competition. You ain't got to train here. Just train with me sometimes, and I will help make you better if I can because you're really good, and I just you know fellow competitor." Um, so we did. We started cross training together, uh, and we just I've seen him get better, better, better. Uh, things went a certain way. It turned out he came to me one day and said, uh, after he sent uh, Bill in the spot, test the waters. Um, because Jiu Jitsu is a team sport, but it's also individual, okay? Uh, they're not paying your gym dues, they're not in the competition with you, whatever, you know. So he made that decision to come train, uh, and I'm so glad that he did, uh, just seeing him grow. And like I said, he was already awesome when he came here, but just that next level, okay? Uh, seeing him in competitions now with some of these elite brown belts, okay? Seeing the competitions with brown belts that outweigh him by, you know, 50 to you know, 80 pounds that are really good, and him just taking them out, submitting them. Uh, just can't say enough good things about Steve. Uh, he's got a nickname of King Kong. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Um, I'm just very proud of him. Proud to have him here. Uh, he's not even like someone like, oh, he came from another gym and started training with us. I don't even, that's not how I see it. Steven is a Leviathan. He's not someone that came to train with us. And in my eyes, he's been here the whole time. Okay? Uh, I love having him here. He's a great friend. He's also really funny. Okay, you don't always know when he's joking or not. He's very dry humor, but it's always funny. I love to watch him, you know, especially play, <laughs> go back and forth. There, that's their pick. That's their little relationship. They're digging at each other, um, and uh, but uh, I'll stop talking now so I can let him talk. Steven, come on up, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Train at a couple different places, and you know, this has definitely been the best one for me. And you know, I've just gotten a lot better training with like world champions, and it's been great. And thank my family for being here. Gosh, why am I getting choked up? But <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to this belt. But um, <laughs> Emily, thank you for everything. Clay, everybody up here, um, Clay and Dale, especially. Dale was sent here as like a spy, but also to see, like to feel the test of waters, and he got better, and I was like, I can't let that happen, so. <laughs> and so, um, also Clay and Dale give me a lot of uh, ammo to use against them when I make jokes, and everyone laughs at their expense, so. Um, but yeah, some advice to you guys. The closer you get to it, the less you feel ready for it, so try not to think about it too much, because it'll sneak up on you. Like, standing over there, it wasn't that long ago I was over here, so just keep at it. And thank you guys for being here and everything. So. Yeah.